Hi everyone and welcome to lesson two in our Soundtrap Studio um, series. So today we're going to be looking at the beat maker patterns. Uh, so first of all, we're just going to go straight back into Soundtrap. Okay, I'm just going to log back in again. So just to recap this from last time, I can do it quite quick now. Um, obviously you can log in with your email as before. If you click log in with Google, uh, I find that quicker because I can just do it that way. And then just take a moment and we're in. So, as the same, uh, we're going to go on Enter Studio. So, I'm going to start a fresh project uh, today for Lesson 2. As this is going to be quite a short video, we're just going to look mainly at how to create uh, the beat um, with Beatmaker. So, again, podcast for music, you select music. Introducing Rhythm oh, Templates. Hello. We're happy to introduce. We've got Rhythm Templates now, so that might be worth something to look at uh, if you are using uh, the software, if you're not sure what that is. I'm just going to get onto uh, onto patterns beat maker. So you select it from here, and then you get given this grid. Now, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to no, I'm not actually. I'm just going to keep it. Oh, there we go. Cycle. So it does do it. Okay. So it's going on. I'm just going to uncycle it. So if you want to extend it further than just one. Grid set, you can click cycle and lets you continue it. To be honest, I don't think you'll need that. Um, so, you know, most of it kind of comes in this nice little four grid system. So, as you can see, you've got kick at the top, snare, hi hat. You can change it. So, if you click kick, you can change what this instrument is. Um, there'll be a different variety of things. There's only one kick available here. But if you wanted to change the sound, that is up here where it says machines vanilla, which I'll look at in a second. So, I'm going to put, a, if you press your left click on a box, you will see that it goes, um, it gets colored in, okay? It kind of gets highlighted. If you unclick it, it will go off again. So if I press that, okay, there it is. I'm going to put a kick in the first grid on the first beat and in the third grid on the first and second. And playing that will sound like this. Okay, nothing too exciting at the minute. So we've got the snare. You want to put your snare on two and four. You can now start to see how we are building our drum beat. Okay, so then we've got hi-hat closed. You want to put these on one and three in each little box. This is just to create a standard drum beat. Obviously, you can mix that up however you wish. It is up to you how you do that. It is a fun tool, but here is the standard beat. Okay, kind of standard rock and roll beat <clears throat> that you would have heard in a lot of different songs. So we're currently at 120 BPM. I'm just going to take that down to 90. Okay, so if I press confirm, we're now going to knock that down to 90, press again. Okay, I'm going to just see if this makes any kind of cool in distance. There we go, I like that. Sounds quite cool, I like it, a bit funky. Okay, so if you want to add any more, down here you can see we've got the add button. Got a hi-hat on the open. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that there. How cool is that? Nice little beat there for us. Sounded very cool. Okay, so very nice. You've got up here as well. Click instrument, it shows you. Uh, you will see that there's X U D eight one. If you press those buttons, Yep, those buttons obviously play the different symbols. Back to patterns is where we just were. Piano roll shows you how it looks in MIDI. So this gets put in into MIDI, not into audio. There's an audio file, as you can see the screen up here. That is what we've created. Now, I will uh, go into MIDI in a future video and what that means. But for now, just to wrap this video up, remember you can add some more stuff down here. Now it's given us a crash. I'm going to put that on the first beat. This uh, soundtrack software does 
kind of predict what you're going to choose quite nicely. So let's see what it sounds like with the crash. Yeah, very nice. Okay, I'm going to add another. I've got ride. I'm going to change that. I'm going to have a rim shot instead. And I'm going to put that uh, here. See what that sounds like. Copy that. That's quite cool. So the opportunities are endless. Obviously, uh, we're going to look at effects um, in the future. So I'm not going to focus too much on reverb and things like that. I'll talk about them uh, later on in a video. I'm just going to add a tad bit of reverb to it, though. Okay, and now I'm going to look here. So the final bit of this lesson is going to have a look at here. So this is your different types of drums. As you can see, it says drums here. Click in the button that says Machines Vanilla. So you've got a lot of different ones. Uh, if you press, you get an idea of what they sound like. So you've got Vermont, Varsity, Double X. Again, like before, a lot of these um, you, have to put a, you can go on the one month free trial, as mentioned in lesson one, link below if you want to check that video uh, out. So again. So I want red, let's choose red. Okay, now that I've selected red, you will see that it's loaded it up there. Let's play again. And that's it. So there you go, there you have it. That's the beat maker's pattern. Um, um, sorry, that's the patterns beat maker. Okay, so what else I'm just going to quickly look at just to explain is if you want to extend this so it lasts uh, longer than uh, just the one bar, if you click up here where there's like this loop section, click, drag, and extend to the end again. We've got the loop there. And now if I press play, There we go. So it's got a nice little bit attached to it. Now I'm just going to add a, a little bit of a loop library bass track just for now, just to give us something quite nice to go with it. I'm going to make it, it's quite hip hop -y, so I'm going to choose that. Okay, I'm just going to grab bass beat for. Pop it down, see what that sounds like with the drums. Here it is. Very nice. Okay. Uh, anything else that we could add to it? No, I think we'll leave it there for now. So that's just adding a bit of bass with the drums there at the end. Thank you very much, guys, for checking out this video. For more music production content lessons, tutorials, um, tutorials, tutorials, and other various content, please hit the subscribe button for more of that content. I'm also into my anime and gaming. There will be videos on that on this channel as well, so please check those out. Thank you very much, guys, and I will see you next time. Thank you very much.